Hello people, welcome back. Today, we are gonna see what it's like when Karen's want to join the do not fly list. Also, Dumpy is here. I'm a lizard person. All right, so first off, we got this Karen who is in an airport cafe and she is very, very mad. I just saw this last night. This cup is crazy. By the way, guys, there's a lot of fighting, so I'll have to probably blur it because YouTube is a little scared. Scaredy cat. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can walk away. I'll get your fucking stuff. Be my stuff. Yes. Be my stuff. <laughs> Bro, honestly, I feel so bad for employees that have to deal with this. I, I used to work a job where I was a cashier. I could not imagine this happening during my job. I would probably just leave. Um, dude, to add on to that, man, I can absolutely imagine being in this position. And if I was the Target employee, sorry, if I was the airport employee, he looks like he works at Target. He does. I would, I would start throwing <laughs> man. I mean, if you look at her, it, it, it gets worse. Let's just get into it. Dude. It, it's ah! get out. Okay, that guy is like, fuck no. You're not going anywhere, but now she's grabbing a fucking chair. What's she gonna do? Oh my God. <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, this guy's a fucking Jesus, bro. He's like the Terminator, bro. There's no stopping him. Look at all the mess, bro. Like, what the fuck? There's pineapples. That's what I'm saying. It's like the situation, straws. you already know this has been happening for at least three to yeah, four minutes like, at this the point. The person who's filming this is like a passerby. He was walking by and he was like, I mean, what else do you do? You gotta film that shit. I would film it too. Like, Smack him right in the face. Oh my god, that's what I'm talking about, dude. Yes. That was a fucking you should've done that originally. Wait, you're the WWE guy. What's that? What's that move called? It's called throwing someone on the ground. Oh shit. Wait, so what is she even mad about? All I've heard her say is, let me get my stuff. Yeah, so um, <laughs> you, you hear she just yelled there, let me get my stuff, and then proceeded to bitch slap Green Sweater Man. Now, if what she's saying is true, which as we'll come to see, it pretty much is confirmed. They are holding her belongings, but I feel like they're holding them and like trying to call the police because she's like starting up a bunch of bullshit. Even if they have your belongings, bro, there's no reason you should be fucking assaulting people. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you even get in this position in the first place? Like, there's a reason why they have your shit, you know? Call the police. Call the police. Yeah. <laughs> what? You fucking parkour <laughs> expert, bro. Bro, this is the most agile Karen I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> That's actually insane. Every Karen is like 60 years old minimum, but this is like the first ever like parkour Karen at the airport. It's like the fucking collab of the decade. <laughs> Straight out of fucking Tom and Jerry, bro. Whacked what the, the fuck pan. is going on? You guys can't see because we have to, like. <laughs> They're all just recording. Like, no one's calling. Dude, the there was literally a crowd of like ten people holding their phones. <laughs> He's like, "Please tell me one of you are fucking calling the police." Is there anyone else in there eating like their food, just watching this all go down? Dude, I would totally just be sitting there like eating my little pastry or whatever. <laughs> yeah, your twenty-five dollar pastry at the airport. <laughs> Each little piece of fruit on the floor is like thirty dollars. <laughs> well, I don't know. If she's that agile. <laughs> Hey, but she got her stuff though. That's a W. Uh, it was gone. a fucking yeah. coat. It was, it was a, a coat in a bag. It was a coat. I think she had a bag too. Dude, I need Maybe to there was drugs story. in there. I don't know. And that, look, look at that person in front of her, like right next to her, right there. They have no idea what's going on. They're just like, oh, I'm just, I just took a shit and now I'm about to go to my flight. Dude, honestly, oh, hey, hey, ma'am. Airport, especially by myself, it's eyes forward. I'm just getting to my destination. Eyes are like glued to the phone the whole time. I'm not. Oh yeah, you're like, locked in. You're absolutely yeah. locked in. But that was absolutely wild. I want to know what the hell started this. And also, like, she's definitely on the do not fly list now, right? Like, there's no way she can go on airplanes anymore. Dude, she's gonna have to fucking take boats everywhere from now on, man. That's not the only Karen though that wanted to join the do not fly list. There's more. This Karen rages at the Delta workers about her period. <laughs> I like how she has like an oh, Karen's always like just have this little audience in the background. It's like a live TV show. And these poor grandmas in the front with their wheelchairs, they're the front row seats. Honestly, they're probably eating it up. I'm sick. I'm wearing a diaper. I'm bleeding and they kicked me off the plane. I wasn't even upset until they told me they were kicking me off. Kicking me off. I wasn't even upset until they're kicking me off. Okay, why 
why why she's calling it a diaper though is it actually a diaper or is she like wearing like a pad or like... uh, i don't know i heard there is like a really rare condition where some women who do get periods end up shitting themselves at the same time so it could be that but at the end of the day man i mean no matter if she's right or wrong if you just go in with that tone that you're, you're they're kicking me off yeah, it's like facts. i instantly hate you dude like just shut up like please stop you do not need to hit those high notes <laughs> Demanding to speak to a manager while yelling that she was on her period and asking a fellow traveler if he knows what a uterus is. You oh my stupid God. little prick! Do you but know like what the a point uterus is, it's is? Like, there's like five billion women in the world, and it's like you don't see any of them doing this shit every single Gosh. day, bro. You know, like what the fuck is this? Also, like airports are not the place to fuck around. Is the whole point of this video? Like, you shouldn't be a Karen at an airport. They could just tell you, hey, you can't fly anymore because you always cause a nuisance. Why does she kind of look like me? Yeah, I see. I see the resemblance. Next up, we have a Karen who goes on an insane rampage at a Mexico City airport. <laughs> Instantly, she's going through an exorcism. It's going crazy. Like, what on earth can trigger this response? Like, what in her mind is so infuriated that she's just behind the counter, tearing apart suitcases, screaming? I, I don't even know what's going on. It's been eight seconds, and it's just screaming the whole time. Okay, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. There's only one situation in the airport where I feel like this is warranted, okay? And just think about the most stressful part of the airport. It's when you get off the plane, and you go to baggage claim, and you wait for your bags. Is my bag gonna come? Is it not gonna come? Imagine she's there four hours five hours she goes hey can you get my bag here's the number oh we don't have your bag all of her personal belongings you know what i mean i feel like that's maybe the only no, yeah, reason yeah. why I agree. That, that's a that very rare circumstance right that's that a very rare irritating. circumstance i you need to have like some true patience for the baggage return thing it, it does take some time but also you know they do lose luggage i've actually had a friend who lost their luggage before and actually they, they got paid for all of it but then also you're losing all of your like it's kind of like personal belongings you don't want to lose that stuff but like there's a system in place for it right you don't do this yeah i feel like even if you do get your shit lost you can't do this at all it's not warranted whatsoever Maybe you can go to the manager and be like i need to speak to someone now but like i don't know this is a little bit extreme i would have to agree this is fucking insane and why is no one picking her up she's going panel to panel ripping the things off like throw who is she throwing them at by the way just like random other customers just random customers employees i mean if i'm working there i'm gonna pick her up and slam I mean, that'll solve the issue, would it not? You know what I think would solve the issue? If they sent security over here, like where the fuck is the security? The, it's Dude, an it's airport. It's on the budget. There's no budget for security in airport Mexico. Airport has like, I thought they had like the tightest security ever, but I, I don't know. Apparently not. Like, look at her now. She's, like, standing on top of, like, the check-in or something. Like, there's no situation She's where you should ready be doing to hit this at all. With, like, one of those, like, jumping, what's it called? A fucking frog splash or some <laughs> shit? Like, what the fuck? Are you, like, like, I don't even know what she's gonna do. Like, I, she's, like, on top of the steel cage right now. Dude, these motherfuckers are just like looking like, is this real life? Like, is this actually fucking happening right now? I think they're enjoying the show. Oh, we got another camera angle, bro. That's awesome. Okay, at this point, definitely smoking meth. Like, a million percent of meth head. She's doing like a, a performance. She thinks she's on stage in the fucking Madison Square Garden right now. That's what she thinks. She thinks she's Taylor Swift. All right, next we have a... Uh, next up, we have a air... <laughs> just used <laughs> Next up, we have an airplane passenger who is drunk and she doesn't want to leave the plane. Uh-oh. We're doing what? 
Y'all can't even tell me what I did. Dude, all these Karens lack so much self-awareness. It's insane. Like, we already know she did something awful. Like, th that's why they're recording. That's why she stood up in the middle. Everybody's staring at you. There's a reason everybody's staring at you. There's a reason that people think you look insane. It's because you fucking are insane. No, no. The best person right here, dude. Pause real quick. The best person is the head closest to the camera, the biggest head, who's just, like, talking shit to his, like, girlfriend or some shit. Like, oh, he's, like, having what's a happening on the plane right, right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, you'll never believe what's going on. You'll never believe why I'm not home right now. You can't tell me what I did. It doesn't matter that I'm not going. You're yelling at him. You're keeping up everybody. Please leave. So we can go on. So why are the passengers the one like arguing with her? This like flight attendant just sitting there like, all right, guys, you deal with it. Not my fucking problem. Bro, that's a great <laughs> point. What even is the flight attendant doing? They're sitting there with their hands together. Like, I'm praying they go, they, they sit down. Like, it's not going to work, dude. You have to actually be direct and give them instructions. And if they refuse, then you get the air marshal. Call the fucking security, bro. Like, air call the FBI. The security. I swear, the SWAT team. Get her the Call Chris Hansen. Get Dr. Phil involved. Take a like, seat. I don't know. Chris Hansen will get her to take a seat, bro. That is genius. <laughs> bro, that was, that was the best. Bro. I didn't even think about that. I'm lifting, I'm lifting my jacket so, to, so you can put the cuffs on me. Because what did I do? Enjoy it. Dude, this guy's like fucking taking a nap, right? <laughs> I don't even know how it's possible. I'm such a light sleeper. Like, this guy's knocked out. He might be off Zans. Like, what is going on? Fact. He hasn't moved the entire video. <laughs> Actually, one time I was at the airport and I, I was by myself, right? And there was a family and they sat down right next to me. They're like, is it okay if we sit in these seats like right next to you? I was like, yeah, sure. I don't care. And they're like having a conversation. And this grandma, she's She's probably like 60 years old. She pulls out of her pocket and she's like, do you want one of these Xanaxes? It's like, what the fuck? Like, and she got it through security and everything. I mean, maybe it was prescribed. I don't know. But she literally offered me a Xan and no, I did not take it. <laughs> what is this tangent? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do it. Come talk to me. Miss what? I'm going to miss my flight for what? Who did I think? Maybe it's Bro. your fucking fault that you're missing the fights. Like, I don't know what you did before, but like, you're the one who sparked this issue. Yeah, I'm not sure if they're on drugs or not, but it's like, how are they even drunk? Let's just say they've only started drinking like on the airplane. I don't even know if it's taken off yet or not, but let's just say it's like, Airport alcohol is expensive as shit, by the way. It's expensive and I'm sure they won't over give you too much. Right? Like, they can't mm, do that. On my way to Florida, they did, like, kept giving me alcohol, if I asked. I drank, like, five buzz balls. I was fucking wasted. Never mind. Right behind the five, everybody. Right here. Right here. What did I do to you? What did I say? You better not say shit. I like how she's just going around all the different passengers, having her own like little battles with them. Bro, it's like a TikTok street interview. Who's next? Who wants to? Play? Someone's raising their hand to talk. Are you serious? I'm fucking done, bro. This is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> I didn't. Oh. You're doing it now, though. You go, you tripping. So now everybody gonna suffer. Wow, yeah, that that's that's a good mentality to have in life. If you can't have something, fucking nobody can. I want to know what this is over, bro. That what all of these? I want to know what sparked this. Someone needs to just always be recording at every moment. I would like to just know why she asked if anyone was offended to just then end up saying, well, if I'm miserable, everyone's gonna be fucking miserable. It's like why even ask the question at that point, dude? I don't know. This bitch is fucking wasted. No, that's bullshit. Nah, that's that's bullshit. Because somebody, one person complained. So now what's up? No, this, listen, you out your mother There's no way this isn't a skit, bro. There's no way this is like, this is real life. Imagine sitting on an airplane and this is what you're dealing with. And where the fuck is security in all of these? I do not understand still. Bring security in, pull her the fuck off the plane. It should take 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like no parent ass <laughs> But yeah, guys, go subscribe to Dumpy. He posts videos where he talks, just like here.